Alright everybody, welcome back. As I said the other day, we are going to continue exploring our main island. Well, once my main island finishes loading. I believe I said we were going to, yeah, we were going to go this way. But first, I want to make a little detour. In reviewing the video from yesterday, I noticed some pumpkins. And I've been looking for pumpkins forever. I love jack-o'-lanterns. So, let's go see if we can find those real quick. Quick. Pretty sure they were over in this vicinity. I just swore they were over here. Of course, it may have been further back, but I know it was over to that direction when I was moving that way. Hmm. Well, let's go take a look. And we won't spend long looking for them. If I don't find them right away, we'll get back to actual exploring. There's some mushrooms. Maybe it was over by there. There's the cave. Yeah, okay. I know where we are now. I saw him right over here. Could have sworn. See? There we go. Even got some bones, arrows, and feathers out of it. Alright, let's get some pumpkins. Slightly frozen pumpkins. But good pumpkins nonetheless. And for those of you who didn't read the description on the Girodoku texture pack, hey, maybe it doesn't work anymore. There we go. Now we are Samus Minecraft of the Metroid universe. As cool as this little tidbit is, I think it would have been even better if somehow they managed to tweak the texture pack so that once you actually put on a pumpkin head, if the life would actually go up here and go down like that and change with the numbers, that would have been amazing. I figure it probably would have been impossible to do it, but that would have been amazing if they could do it. And that's a, hey, I missed a pump, and then I threw down my bow, and oh yeah, I'm all over the place today. Anyway, back on you. Alright, so we got some jack-o'-lanterns from the exploration. We found something I consider useful anyway. And now we can go back to our exploring Oh, a cave, I think. Yes, a cave. A tiny cave. Worth digging. Not even worth digging. Alright, so a very tiny cave. This one. Maybe this one will be a real cave. Nope, it's just a tunnel. Uh, eep. Oh, come on. Damn it. I really gotta stop putting my pork on the hot bar there. I keep eating it by accident. Do I have any left? Oh, thank God I do. Okay, dokey. here. See what trouble we can get into. Hopefully some sort of trouble would be nice. Spice the video up a little bit. Oh, it looks like it could be a cave. I'm not holding my breath with the luck we've been having. But in the spirit of adventure, I'll take my sword out. Like I said, good thing I didn't hold my breath. I'd be dead. Okay. Maybe the reason there are so many creepers and such above ground 
and skeleton zombies. Maybe the reason the spawn rate is so high for that. Well, don't hold me to it, but my theory was becoming that due to the lack of caves on this island, that the monsters actually had no place else to go. So that's why they were all above ground. But I think I may have just been proven wrong. Alright. Well, we're only five minutes into the video, so let's put down our marker here. That's the way we gotta go to get out. And I heard that. I don't see nothing though. There we go, incoming. Come get some. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, if this turns out to be another tunnel system, I'm gonna be upset. some lava so this technically since it goes deep enough for lava should be considered a cave despite the fact that it doesn't meet my requirements of being a cave yet long twisting tunnels me getting lost into the wee hours of the morning but fun nonetheless I never trust lava so I don't go that close to it some lava. Quick. And a little bit of iron so far. Lava, in case you didn't know, uh, it's actually useful if you can find a lake of it. It's the most efficient uh, cooking source for the oven. One bucket lasts for a very, very, very long time. So always try and take a bucket with you. If you can find a whole lake of it, I like to leave the fountains alone, uh, mostly because they save me torches. It's just easier to just leave them there and use some coal, because coal's so plentiful. Alright, well, we went that way, we went that way. We got a chicken? Yes, that's a chicken. It's a chicken that was bouncing like a creeper and giving me a scare. Alright. So far we've got, um, nothing really incredible, no underground caverns, I believe we're coming up to another dead end here, we just, we'll find out soon enough, won't we? Looks like we actually found a cave. 
Oops. Uh, could be. No, of course not. That'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Alright, well, let's mine this iron here, and I think we'll call this the end of the video. Run back to the entrance real quick. away from the entrance a little bit so I don't get killed by anything. Alright, well, uh, we found what was hopefully a cave. Turned out to be just a bunch of pretty dead ends. Uh, I'm going to try one more video. In the next video we'll continue exploring, see if we can't find any caves. If we don't find anything by then, I'm just going to go back to work as usual behind the scenes trying to finish that tunnel. And we'll just spelunk in the caves on the other island because there are a lot of them over there. I will see you all in the next video. In the meantime, everybody take care.